San Diego County Board of Supervisors voted to approve distributing more Narcan and requiring education on fentanyl. And our Zara Barker is live for us outside the county administration building where that decision was made. Hi, Zara. Maria, Andrew, good afternoon to you. That decision made just a few hours ago. This is now mandating schools in the area teach about fentanyl prevention and also distribute Narcan to parents and students. It was clear today the board saw a need to get this passed immediately. Fentanyl is the thing that's killing more young people than anything else in our nation. The San Diego County Board of Supervisors made a unanimous move in the fight against fentanyl Tuesday. Chair Fletcher, that motion passes unanimously. Just a little more than three months after the Board of Supervisors declared fentanyl a public health crisis, they took action against it by mandating fentanyl awareness education in classrooms, giving parents and students naloxone and training on how to use it, plus finding more funding for on-campus prevention programs. Last year we lost 12 kids with the youngest being 13 years old to fentanyl overdoses in San Diego County. We had not experienced that level before. We had several near misses with a four month old that almost overdosed. County resident Judy Shore helps homeless in the region and gives out Narcan but hopes this program can stop people from ever starting to use the deadly drug. I've known I mean five of them personally who have died in the last six months from fentanyl. Supervisor Jim Desmond proposed this measure and sported a red ribbon to support living drug free during Tuesday's meeting and shared devastating data. Over 6,000 pounds of fentanyl has been seized in, Sal in San Diego County last year alone. 6,000 pounds. That's enough to kill every San Diego, every person in San Diego County four times over. This approval comes about a week after U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced 11 busts were made at San Diego ports of entries during a one week span where they seized more than 200 pounds of fentanyl. It's a weapon of mass destruction. It's killing hundreds of kids, hundreds of people a day in our country and it's coming across our southern border and we need to keep the message that one pill can kill. And today, the Board of Supervisors also talked about using funding from the opioid settlement and use that to further fentanyl education and prevention in San Diego. But that has not yet been decided on that. Of course, we'll keep you updated as this develops. Live along the Embarcadero, Zara Barker, Fox 5 News. Such an important